bed is a snake pit soaked in venom. Eat nothing. Need nothing. The wanderer to his castle came, mindful of his teacher's words. I lick the walls sometimes. Taste twigs. And on earth all is noise after the silence. Under the crystal dome, I hear everything. A distant breeze, the sighing of children, crickets dancing at midday. The texture of reality is combustible, fingernails scratching down a pane of glass. I pass my hand through it like feathers and touch its dreams. inside the consciousness of a giant sleeper, and the lights come piercingly now, calling my cells awake, charging the flesh beneath my skin, my organs. I have wanted to die for so long. Jonas, is that you?
find him. Your alternate, the healer. Find him. Him? What about her? Ask her. She will lead you to him. Thomas, how do you feel? The same. Still here. Not now. It was. And today? Today. Today, I looked out the window. I'm not afraid. I might leave. I might go away again. Who knows? Is that what you want? I don't know. I don't know who decides. Do you still think Jonas is with them? I don't think so. Not anymore. And the noise that comes through the radio? Today it came. Then went. What did the shadows say? Any words? Words! Yes? Today, it wants to meet a friend of yours. Your friend. The healer. They asked for someone different this time. You don't believe me. You don't believe any of this. Thomas, I always believe you. I believe what you say. It's just that sometimes what's happening on the outside gets confused with our internal landscape. Sound possible? It's Andrew Owens. Owens! What's that all about? Talk with him as soon as possible. I am the healer. Why has it changed? Make it happen. Nobody else loves how I love. Certainly no one will ever love Rachel how I love her. If only she'd get up for her stupid... You see, I've never met a woman, let alone a man, who is capable of the level of devotion that I give. And when I'm with a woman, that is it. That is it for me. The file's closed, but she doesn't get that. So I'm like, Rachel... Rachel, do you actually understand what you're throwing away here to get a guy like me? Who was solvent, sane, I know I say it myself, pretty easy on the eye. Who's not only prepared to commit 100%, but does not, will not, in fact actually cannot look at another woman, think about another woman, 
I mean, how many men do you think there are like that out there, hmm? Does she have any idea? So what I'm asking for is just a little bit of acknowledgement. I mean, I'm the only one who should light up her senses. No one else should excite her like I do. And you know, sometimes, just sometimes when I've texted her for like a millionth time, and I'm waiting. It's like, Rachel, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Sometimes I just want to put my hands around her throat and squeeze. I mean, maybe that's the alpha male bullshit that she needs. But no, it's all about her work or her friends. And when she starts talking about her favourite music, I just want to punch her. Or when she wants to go and see the new Ryan Gosling film. I mean, how does she think that makes me feel? I mean, you understand what I'm saying, right, Doc? You get what I mean? So come on, what do you think? I think this might be a good point to unpack a little bit of what you've just told me. Yeah, sure, sure. But this is only the beginning. I mean, there's so much more. You won't believe what she did at the weekend. I want you to try something. I want you to tell me everything you just told me again. But this time, I want you to imagine you're Rachel telling me. Hold on. Excuse me, but I don't really think you've understood what I've been talking about here. I mean, what's she got to do with anything? This isn't about her. I think you're siding with her. What makes you think that? Well, I don't know. Maybe I'm just paranoid. Hard to know what's real most of the time, isn't it? Hi Jules. Yeah, I was with a patient. It's just come through, I've got it on the screen. This one is really you. <laughs> Look, I am so busy at the moment, I can't afford to take on any more referrals. Do you remember that case? He reported his son missing. No, it doesn't ring any bells. Then when the police came, there was no son. Never had been. He'd imagined the whole thing, whole other life. No history of mental illness or prior breakdown. He kept going to Burlington Woods. He would have died there if someone hadn't found him, having hallucinations of alien abduction. 
He's been with me for about a year. The delusions persist even on antipsychotics. You're right, it does sound very me. Yep. Delusions? <laughs> well, I'll leave that one for you to tease out. He asked for you himself by name. Said the aliens had told him about you. <laughs> oh, word travels even in zero gravity. <laughs> no doubt. Good for your book. You're still not convinced, my honourable sceptic. He must have seen something or read something online. Let's just keep all conclusions on hold.
please sit anywhere. Can I get you anything? You've heard them too. And seen something. They've been in touch with you too. Heard what? That voice. It tells us what to do. It's here, isn't it? It's been here? Uh, I'm not sure I understand. Pathetic. Look, there are many thoughts that can influence... I know you've heard something. I've seen something. Let's go over some of the things that happened. To remember. Juliet told me. Is that why you... All right. Let's do it. Let's take you back to the forest. With hypnosis. Thomas, I'm not a skeptic. I'm interested in what you've seen. Not what you think you've seen, and not what others tell you you think you've seen. All right. And Jonas? I'm not sure. He keeps slipping from my mind. Sometimes I can barely see his face. He was... my son, I think. He loves... Nature. The woods. Yes, the woods. Oh, but maybe he's not there anymore. Why did you go there that day? I don't know. Yes. Oh, maybe you're right. Because he disappeared. Then it turns out he never was. But I thought... Did you see any people there? Did you see anyone? Not people. They weren't people, not like what we'd call them. But why do you think they took you or your son? Not people. I didn't have any son. I understand that now. I imagined it, but don't tell me they were people. You weren't there. It wasn't you that was there. Okay, just breathe. Just come back. Come back. Just breathe. 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 What do you see? The tree. Is the light hurting you? There is no light! Yet! Tell me what happened. Tell me what you see.
Thomas, tell me what you see. Thomas doesn't see anything. Thomas doesn't know anything. Who are you? I am the one who hears. I am the one who sees. Do you have a name? Who are... I'm Andrew. I know. Thanks for agreeing to meet me. This isn't about his treatment, by the way. Then what? I don't know where to begin. I need to ask you some things about him. It's just... When did you last see him? I haven't seen him. Not for a long time. Close to three years. Seems like forever. Like another life. This isn't about his treatment. So you said. I believe in life beyond what we know. I believe in visitors. The chances of us not being the only ones here is quite high, don't you think? And the prospect of us being alone seems rather bleak. The sound just like him. It's the kind of thing he used to say. How long were you and me together? And you needed to see me because... You and Thomas, how long? We were together a long time, but now I realise he was never really there. He had this kind of parallel life in his head. Did he... Did he say things? What kind of things? What kind of things did he say? Did he, did he see things? Did he, did he hear things? I've been through all of this. The police been through it. The doctors. Look, we need to sort this out. I think we need I, to... I shouldn't have come. I this think we need, to dis we need to discuss this. We? Please. Look, it's not in his head. It's not just in his head. These things are real. I need to sort this out. I need to know what's going on. I must be an idiot coming here. You're just like him. It is all in his head. I don't want anything more to do with it. With him, with the police. It was a total head fuck. He's a liability. Making up a child and then saying he disappeared, it's sick. This place makes me ill. I can't live here in this town anymore. I'm somewhere else now. I had to leave to start again. Did he? Did he just vanish in front of you? Because he vanished in front of me, he evaporated. Maybe you'll have to go there and see for yourself. The woods? Yeah. 
You have to go there and see for yourself. See what you can find and don't contact me again. Hi, Jules. So? What did you think? Did you watch it? Yeah, up until that bit where the signal went weird. Did you see it? Will you include him in your book? Yes, but did you watch it, Jules? He denied everything. There were no people, he said. There were no lights. It's hardly anything you can use. Yeah, but the point is, he disappeared. Prescribe you something for that. <laughs> Why don't you believe what's in front of your eyes? It was self hypnosis, Drew. You went under too. And then the camera paused or the battery died, and when you came round, he'd gone home. He's probably there now. Uh, wrong. He's not at home. Now you see him, now you don't. <sighs> okay, okay. Why are you calling? A duty of care. He's my patient too, and he didn't show up for a session today. Where is he, Drew? He disappeared. Where are you? Are you at home? I'm coming over. I'm not at home. Where then? Look, Jules, I, I'm thinking of going away for a few days. Maybe do a bit of research. Uh, not before you've located my patient, you're not. That's what I mean. Maybe I'm going to go and look for him. Where? I don't know. 
His usual points. You can't. Andrew, you can't. What is it to you? What is it all to you? What did you say it was? You said it was all bunkum. My honourable sceptic. Because I don't think you should go.
You! I knew I'd find you here. Yes. You followed me here. Like a shadow. It's not bad, is it? Under the crystal dome. No gargoyles. No brimstone. I, I don't understand. You don't have to. You just have to breathe and choose. Choose? What are you doing here? Where did you go? The sooner you choose, the better. I had to go. I'd reached my limit. I couldn't carry you anymore. Carry me. I was carrying the trauma of one of your realities. A reality you avoided living. You were able to cross over into an alternative narrative. You may now take your story back. Resume. Go on. Take your reality back. I've done the lion's share. Take my life back. Yours, or mine? Not mine, but yours. Yes, you and Liz, and your boy, your loss, your pain, your life. That's what you escaped. We're alternates. We absorbed that reality, and it disappeared from your plane. All gone, like it never happened. I didn't recognize her. <laughs> I don't remember him. I have nothing, no image, no picture, no memory. I don't want that reality back, it's too painful. No sweat. I consumed it, bro. What else is quantum law for? It's like fuel for us, all that suffering. And boy, does your planet produce a lot of that. It's a heavy load being your alternate. That was a miserable reality. We hoovered it up. All gone. Or. Perhaps I'm just an hallucination, and you're on a particularly high dose of meds that your friend has just prescribed. She was gutted that we didn't take her. Jules. Kind of, in her way. You said, you said all other realities. I I don't want to go back to the other reality. I, I want to know about this one. I want to know about your reality. Your reality. Please, tell me about yours.
the sound just like him. He'd imagined the whole thing, all other life. know what's real most of the time, isn't it? Welcome back.